welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. It's not going to be like really intense, like into detail first impressions. Kind of just want an excuse to play around with the new Australis and Neutralize palette. So that's kind of what this video is about. So I tried out a few different products and then we did a bit of a tutorial on this palette here. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to start using the Infallible Luminizing Primer. I'm going to redo that without scratching my nose. Yes, I am. Got to start with the L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer. Oh, a little bit goes a long way. Oh my gosh. I look like the Tin Man. So I'm going to try and fly through the face part of this because, like, I don't know, I just wanted to play around with the Australis Neutralize palette. So, kind of, that's the whole point of this video. Going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. Obviously, if you watched my review, I don't rate this foundation. I don't really like it, but I paid for it, so I need to get my use out of it. So, I'm going to wear it in this video. This color's a little bit off for me, but honestly, when you pay this much for a foundation, you wear it no matter what the color is. <laughs> If you guys can't hear my cat purring in the background, he has a motor on him and he's very loud little purrer. I can hear him, he's like Rrrr. Bart, 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 can you please stop purring? For concealer, I'm going to try the Concealer Collection by Measurable Difference. Just like a little concealer palette in a book. I don't have very high hopes for it because I don't usually like this style of a concealer in a palette. Um, what colour am I going to go for? I'm going to go for a mixture of lemon and cappuccino just to get a bit of that yellow undertone. It's actually not too bad. Mm. Oops, I judged a book by its cover. My bad. Setting that with my normal banana powder. Just underneath the eyes. Using my straws fresh and flawless for the rest of the face. Oh, too much. Too much. Take it back. Using some of the models prefer luminous glow and I'm just going to pop that around my face to add a luminous glow. So it's just like a little bit of like a bronzy shimmer. Gives you a nice like photoshopped look to the skin. For all my content I'm going to use the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Palette and this is the one that Chloe Morello made. And a little bit down the schnozzy. For blush, I'm taking Rose Tea by Bourjois. Bar. Bourjois blushes are actually the best. They're the best colours. And they smell like vanilla cupcakes. So this is the Chi Chi Celestial Glow Number no. 2 Illuminating Palette. The longest name ever. It's this huge, chunky... Um, highlighting palette. I have not used it yet and I bought it like two months ago because I was like oh my god I need that in my life I'm gonna use it every day. Two months later I have not touched it. Story of my life. Just look at it. Just look at it. So it comes with a huge array of different undertones to the highlight. So you've got your pinks, violets, your um, like classic golds or creams. I don't know which one to use though. Oh, Aphrodite looks so appealing, but I don't think I suit the pink highlight. Should I mix them together? Yes, I should. Why not? So we're going to mix in the pink and the gold and see what happens. Wow. Oh, it's pretty intense though. Like, I'm, I really like that. I used to be one of those people who hated the trend of super intense highlights and now I'm just like, 
I can't get it intense enough, you know? I'm going to use the Benefit Cabral. It is like super dried out and disgusting and it barely works. So I'm going to chuck in some of my Eglot Duraline to soften that bad boy up. Oh, that's better. Duraline is an absolute lifesaver. It is like, thank you, Lord. I feel like I extended that brow way too much, but we're just going to go with it. Okay, I majorly <laughs> went overboard with my eyebrows. I feel like I'm almost to the point where I want to just stop this video now because it's like I've gone, like that's just not happening. I look like the dad of American Pie right now. Uh, this is not a Frida Kahlo tutorial. So, for the main point of this video <laughs> is the Astralis Neutralize Palette. Woo -woo. This gorgeous little thing just hit stores very recently, probably about last week, um, and I just like fell in love. It has like metallics, it has shimmers, it has metallics and mattes. I mean, mm. I think I'm going to do something like warm with the pinks because I do a lot of like bronzy golds. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I might start off with this guy just down here. I think he's called Fudge or Toffee. I'm going to say Fudge. Um, and I'm just going to use it as a transition colour through my crease. Maybe I should bring you in. That might be helpful. Ooh la la. Oh my god, Astralis, look at you go. Astralis is legit one of my favourite brands in the whole world. If they could put me on their PR list, that would be fabulous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These blend out like a dream. This palette wasn't that expensive either. Like, this is like, this is legit like high end quality. So I'm going to take this one here, I think it's called Cherry Ripe, and apply it all over my lid. I'm a bit scared because it's not what normally I would go for, and I have a meeting later, and I don't know if it's appropriate to be wearing, like, this sort of eye makeup, but... Just spraying my brush with a little bit of thick setting spray to make it a bit more intense. Come to mommy. Wow. Can you guys see the quality of these eyeshadows? Oh my god. They don't have any fallout. Like, I mean zero. I have nothing on my face right now and I'm putting like a really thick amount of eyeshadow on. Take a little bit of this colour here. I think this one is called Fudge. And I'm going to apply that directly through the crease to deepen it up a little bit. Got a bit of a purple undertone to it, so it should work out quite well, hopefully. I'm going to take just a smidge of the black and pop that through the crease, just a very small amount. Just going to pop a little bit of salted caramel over the top to highlight it. dabbing that over the top to give it a bit of like a wet look then taking that first shade and popping that on my entire lower lash line then taking that slightly deeper shade we used through the crease and popping that on the outer corner and joining that up to the top taking a coconut which is this shade here and we're going to pop that in our inner corner Okay, so I'm just going to pop on some of the NYX Glam line to my inner corner just to make it even more intense. I have an actual sweat moustache right now that is so embarrassing. When did you guys tell me? I'm going to use the Essence eyeliner in... What is this? I don't know, but it's in brown. Pop that along my waterline and then I'm going to use my go-to eyeliner, my Rimmel, what is this, Glam Eyes. Just do a little bit of a wing. If 
from a sky I want to try out new one. This one is the Covergirl Peacock Flare. I think it's their newest mascara to launch. Covergirl needs to chill on the mascaras. They're launching a new one every single week. I cannot keep up. There's like not a lot of product on it, which I like. It's not like super thick and clumpy. It's quite dry. I hate mascaras that have a lot of product on it. I know that's like silly because it's what you would probably want, but... Because of the Stella brush, I'm finding it a little bit hard to get my bottom lashes because the bristles are so short and my lashes are really tiny, so. Uh, there's not much going on. But yeah, there's like literally not much product on. Like it's very dry. For looks, like, I think I'm going to try a combination of these two here. They're both by Models Prefer. Um, so I'm going to use the Nude Velvet Lip Colour and then like the Hollow Gloss on top, maybe. We'll see how it goes, so. Uh, this is in the shade Flawless. It's really pretty. I'm going to add a little bit of buff in the center. Thank you guys so much for watching this full face of first impressions. I hope you did enjoy. It was really just an excuse for me to play around with the new Australis Neutralize palette and I absolutely loved it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. Bye!